Um, so now I'm going to talk super briefly. I think Rob mentioned earlier, one of the critical components in all of these devices, all of these ventilator devices are the flow sensors to that measure the actual airflow. Um, and again, the, the global supply chain for flow sensors was significantly limited in March. And this was something we identified pretty early on uh, as a problem that we needed to be able to solve. For example, the initial vent mom that we built used a pre-needle flow sensor, which has a teeny, teeny, tiny hole and was really hard to breathe through uh, for an adult. So we knew we needed to make this particular component of our system very flexible. Um, and so from that extended, you know, from hardware to software. So we created um, an Arduino library that basically allows us to use almost any of the Sincerian flow sensors within our device. And you know, it's a, again, publicly available for anyone to use. Um, so we just took, they had a low level C library, which was a little bit inaccessible, I guess, for most hobbyists just looking to plug and play with Arduino. So we just put a nice Arduino wrapper around um, the core functionality in that library. We made it more platform agnostic. So, you know, can be used across various Arduino platforms, and we made it more sensor agnostic. Um, there's been, you know, some moderate activity in the repo over the past few months, and I would say the one of the major contributions was from uh, Ben Cox, who helped us get the 4000 series up and running. Um, this is just a quick shot of all the flow sensors. Again, there are dozens and dozens, um, and so the, this was a pretty critical component um, to be made flexible within our design. Gloria, does FDA approval require you to have uh, fallback or fail safe provisions? That's a great question, Martin. I'm not totally sure. I imagine so. Uh, I think Rob could probably speak to that. It's, it's too complicated to really answer. Um, it, the short answer is no. But you, in that case, you have to have alarms. Uh, it's, it's a very complicated question. It depends on the specific device in question. In the case of ventilators, you don't have to have duplicate components for reliability, but you have to have very sophisticated alarming systems so that the doctors know when something has failed. Thank you. Well, anyway, um... That's all I've got for now on Ventmon, and there's quite a lot more to learn, I think, from Rob and Jeff next. Okay, thank you. So um, everybody make some noise. Let's give it up for Laurie. Um, use, your, use your reaction button. Hey, Laurie. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, she, she demonstrated a lot, of, a lot of things that we try to do at Public Invention, like it's, it's very simple to make a reusable Arduino library, but someone has to do it, right? And so that's like an example of a spinoff that, that we sort of did. And so I'm, I'm rather proud of that. Okay, so um, that was that was two projects, which you're going to get to vote on uh, in terms of millifullers. And there's been some discussion. Obviously, I should point out the whole millifuller concept is very subjective. Uh, and I, I'm not, not suggesting that it's anything other than highly subjective. 